Hey guys, we're off from Georgia here with you, aka VHS 82 apostrophe. And here we go. We are here. The finality of year one is upon us. Episode 24, the testament of Arcadia. Um, last episode in year one, man. Um, and if I haven't sold you on this bill of goods yet, just know, man, it's only like 52 bucks on Amazon, man. Uh, you uh, you can't go wrong with this release, man. Uh, if, if I've intrigued you at all over 24 episodes, uh, you know, including my introduction um, and why you ought to uh, look, uh, you know, look at the prices on Amazon. You could spend a lot of money on a lot of things. Um, but if, uh, if I've intrigued you enough, um, really, it, it's it's well worth the price. Uh, Shout Factory did an outstanding job putting this thing out. And uh, here we are, man. Episode 24. Episode 24. I thought, I haven't really done this much, but uh, John Kenneth Merz uh, exploring Space 1999, his uh, reference guide to uh, this series. He, you know, in terms of wrapping up not only the uh, the year, but um, he 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 says, just 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 um, indulge me for just a moment. John Kenneth Murr, in his commentary section, says this: Ponder the episodes of the first season. In Missing Link, Koenig learns that intellect without emotion makes mankind barren. In Guardian of Piri. The Alphians, um, Alphans learn that there is no such thing as paradise. In Force of Life, they help a life form evolve even if they can't understand what it is or how it develops. In Alpha Child, the Alphans learn to accept a being who is different and therefore frightening. In Full Circle, they discover that 40,000 years of evolution has not buried the human instinct for violence. In Collision Course, they must learn to put aside their preconceived notions of reality and have faith in an intelligence greater than their own. In Death's Other Dominion and End of Eternity, they realize that immortality is a trap. In Mission of the Darians, they learn that a race survives as a race survives as important as survival itself. Seen in this light, the universe has been a classroom uh, for those of Moon Base Alpha. These lessons had to be learned before Luke and Anna, who are our two main uh, uh, stars of this final episode of Year One. Um representing the new 21st century human being. We're ready to begin a new life and create a new and better human race in the Testament of Arcadia. It seems as the buildup to the crescendo that is the, the end of year one has led those of Moonbase Alpha in all their travels. There has been purpose. There's been intent. There has been a guiding force. Uh, and the very final point is we learn that life on earth first began from Arcadia and those from Arcadia were basically fleeing a nuclear holocaust that befell them and they took what they could and they replanted themselves on earth and so there the human race began and now as the moon base alpha comes into the orbit of Arcadia and comes to an absolute standstill and its power begins to be drained uh, not knowing exactly why or what's going on of course koenig uh forms a uh landing party they go down and it is luke and anna uh guest star appearances by orsa maria guarini and lisa harrow um uh, uh guarini uh, of course long history in italian cinema another italian actor um uh, uh, one of the westerns kioma uh, Castorelli film and Lisa Harrow uh, she was actually in the final conflict that, uh, that I think is the final omen entry um, and so uh, and so those two um, as they're on now she's like a philo philologist or whatever um, she will um, both of them will have this sort of um, uh, I don't call it a paranormal experience but like you know something to that effect where they they have stumbled upon this lost cave and there's this sort of table and a round table of uh, what used to be human beings sort of, uh, you know, rotted away but still sitting there in their bones uh, at the table. When left alone, those two will eventually have this uh, sort of um, um, experience 
where they will come under the full belief that it's those two have been called to replant the seeds of life in a place that first sent it off to earth now itself is dead but can be reborn and Luke and Anna are the two and so of course they realize this but to the detriment of Koenig uh, who you know they'll get to a point where Koenig you know where the power will will start to re uh, you know start to come back and uh, and there's hope uh, Luke and Anna decide, uh, even if it's against the orders of Koenig, they will steal an eagle, they will kidnap Helena, they will take supplies, much needed supplies. Um, really, in the end, uh, signing Moonbase off as death warrant by fulfilling providence, destiny, fate, uh, a higher calling, uh, all of which, unbeknownst to anyone involved, they're all sort of serving their own unique purposes. When Luke and Anna are finally on the surface of the planet at the end and have since released Helena and see Moonbase Alpha suddenly launch back off uh, into its uh, you know motion away, they will be sort of bewildered. And I think with understanding that though they thought they understood everything that was happening, they only understood what they needed to understand for them and them alone and the sake and future of Arcadia. Uh, Koenig and Helena, of course, will reflect and ponder if that, you know, is their purpose, being Luke and Anna's, what has been their purpose or continues to be their purpose? Will they find their ultimate purpose in the universe? But the most intriguing thing to me and really reflecting and thinking about this last episode is maybe we finally have an answer. Unless it's revisited in year two, are we to surmise that Earth is lost, that it's gone, that truly uh, we're basically seeing an echo effect of sorts where first Arcadia falls under a, a, a nuclear holocaust and the survivors are able to uh, to go to Earth and, uh, and uh, replenish humanity, so to speak. Now, Earth and its, you know, death pangs or whatever it itself is facing uh, ultimate death and barrenness. Uh, will, in the shape of Koenig and Moonbase Alpha, as a result of their disaster and them being flung out into space, they will be able to repay Arcadia the favor by, even if it's without understanding or, or completeness of understanding or whatnot, they will bring Arcadia back to life much like Arcadia gave Earth a chance but unfortunately both suffered ultimate disasters. The question is will Luke and Anna who have been on Moonbase Alpha and all they have learned all they have experienced will they be able to spring the type of life on Arcadia that will avoid the many mistakes of the past of both Arcadia and Earth? That is the great question. It is the great question. Uh, an absolutely fabulous episode to end off on. Uh, the great unknown is open before us uh, in terms of year two. Um, I can't even comment at all on year two because I have yet to dive in at all. Um, but just considering uh, season one or year one of uh, Space 1999, uh, you know, just it is it is really perhaps the downfall of 20th century technological man it is a uh, it serves as a critic of both um politician politics and science and uh, most everything and seeks a renewed understanding of what it means to be human what it means to be human as they continually be propelled throughout creating havoc in some spots, finding moments of redemption, uh, courage, uh, renewed philosophic understanding perhaps uh, in terms of uh, humanity uh, and just how mysterious and threatening and scary and, uh, and, and just unknown the universe is. Um, who can say? And maybe this is, you know, this is again, the offspring of both Outer Limits, Twilight Zone. This is tucked between Star Trek and Star Wars, but it offers something, a, a unique vision of the universe. One that is more, perhaps more real, more scary in terms of its unknown, mysterious quality or attributes. Um, 
And that's probably being that, you know, as a kid, of course, in 75, I'm watching Jaws in the theater, um, falling in love with Alien in 79, of course, Star Wars explodes. I'm in, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to see the, the Star Wars trilogy is, it is initially unfolding at the beginning. And of course, the 80s, Italian horror and just horror in general across the decade of the 80s. I was a young teenager growing into that. And so much of my memories or much of what really probably early shaped my burgeoning outlook is probably Space 1999. I mean, I had the toys. I was watching the series. I remember, you know, it's hard to remember. What did you think when you were six, seven years old? And, and perhaps the show impacted me in ways that I could never understand or really I'll ever understand. Much like Koenig and those on Moonbase Safa will never, or will they in year two, whether, will they ever completely understand not only their purpose and their intent, but their understanding of the universe and everything around them and who they are as, as, as humans, right? It, it's interesting, man. Um, this show casts a lot of questions out there. Doesn't necessarily seek to answer all of them, but it casts them out there nonetheless. And uh, it is not as um, it is not as neatly packed as say Star Trek may, might be in it. It isn't quite as um, I don't know what a right word for Star Wars is, but it is definitely not Star Wars. It is something of its own unique vision of us in the universe. Anyways, uh, before I grow too redundant, um, yeah. So uh, I don't know. Twenty four episodes. They're done, they're in, <laughs> and uh, this one will be up, of course, next week. Uh, well, as I say this, I'm a week back looking out ahead, right? Um, and then I'll take a little siesta, and I will slowly but surely start to dive into year two, uh, dive into his uh, season uh, year two overview, and, uh, and then uh, we'll get this thing going back again, well before Christmas. Well, I think before Christmas. Um, but... For those who have uh, commented along the way, who have watched, who have uh, even liked, um, followed, uh, appreciate it, uh, this is a great accomplishment for me. I've never really started something and, well, to effect, finished. Uh, I have completed all of year one, so that in of itself is an accomplishment. But my hope is I'll begin year two and I will finish year two and put hopefully a wrapping um, bow on the entire uh, series that is Space 1999. Uh, great guest stars over the first year. I'm looking forward to year two and seeing who uh, might surprise me with their guest appearances. And uh, anyways, I hope, I hope I've hope i intrigued you enough to at least check this out or maybe even uh, grab this while it's only like $52. I mean, it's not, it's not bad. And my compliments to John, uh, John uh, Kenneth Murphy and uh and how much his book has helped and uh just uh allow me to uh have an easier time exploring and thinking about this uh this series um highly suggest you pick this up too uh great 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 book anyways uh anyways as always as always we end these things off with wait before let me just offer up happy thanksgiving and early merry christmas and an early happy new year and with all that maybe i'll see my bills in the super bowl who knows go bills <laughs>